Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. If you want a premium Xiaomi phone without going into flagship territory, you might have a look at one of these options. The first is the Xiaomi 14T, a mid-ranger which provides some high-end features. And then there's the Xiaomi 14T Pro, which is considerably pricier, but brings some nice upgrades too. So which one is the better deal? Let's put the Xiaomi 14T and Xiaomi 14T Pro head to head and find out. The 14T may be the lesser phone in a duo, but the design appears just as premium. Looks can be deceiving though, both phones have a plastic back. The Pro model's back is slightly curved at the edges where it meets the aluminum frame, while the non-Pro has a sharper edge and its frame is plastic, though it hides that pretty well. When it comes to the display, these phones are identical. Both pack the same 6.67 inch OLED with a 1220p resolution, a 144Hz refresh rate, and Gorilla Glass 5 protection. As expected, you get the same performance on either one, with good brightness and sharpness, support for HDR10 Plus video and 16-bit color depth, and a smooth adaptive refresh rate. The performance of the stereo speakers is slightly different. The Pro models are a little bit louder, and it has more pronounced bass, while the non-Pro has more emphasis on the vocals. There is another slight difference when it comes to storage. You can get either phone with 256 or 512 gigs on board, but the Pro model has the option for a whole terabyte as well. You get the same software interface on either phone, Xiaomi's HyperOS on top of Android 14. And for software support, Xiaomi promises 4 OS upgrades and 5 years of security patches to both models. A major difference between these phones is the chipset. The Xiaomi 14T runs on a MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra. Meanwhile, the Xiaomi 14T Pro has a flagship grade MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus. In benchmarks, the Xiaomi 14T's performance is great, on par with other so-called flagship killers. But the Xiaomi 14T Pro blows it away, earning over 70% better CPU scores and over 30% better graphics scores. It's not all about peak performance, however, and the Xiaomi 14T is better when it comes to thermal management. During our prolonged stress tests, the Pro model throttled significantly, with serious dips and spikes. The Xiaomi 14T and 14T Pro are both powered by 5000 mAh batteries, but the battery life is a bit better on the Pro. It beat the 14T by a small margin in all tests except the call test. The charging situation is much different though. The Xiaomi 14T supports 67 watt charging, while the 14T Pro supports 120 watts with the cable, as well as 50 watt wireless charging. We timed the cable charging, and the Xiaomi 14T Pro went from zero to full in 23 minutes, while full charge on the 14T took 49 minutes. Now onto the cameras, which have a few small differences. The Xiaomi 14T has a 50 megapixel main cam, a 50 megapixel two times telephoto zoom, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera, which produces 12 megapixel photos. Meanwhile, the 14T Pro's 50 megapixel main cam has a wider aperture and larger sensor, and its telephoto zooms to 2.6 times. The ultra wide cam is the same. Despite the differences, the actual photos are nearly the same between the two phones. The Pro model's main camera can resolve slightly finer detail, but you have to look closely to find it. The ultra wide cameras achieve identical results during the day. The 14T's 2x zoom camera has a small advantage over the 2x zoom crop from the 14T Pro's main cam. At 2.6x with both phones, they switch places, with the Pro taking the lead, and that's not surprising. At night, it's even harder to spot the difference between these two phones' output. Photos from either phone have great dynamic range, nice colors, and excellent detail. Here's a look at selfies taken by the identical 32 megapixel front facing camera of either phone. And here's a comparison of the 4K selfie videos as well. Videos taken from the main cam and the ultra wide are similar looking between these two phones. They're both quite good in quality. At 2x zoom, the Pro's digital zoom is no match for the 14T zoom camera, and it really shines here. And surprisingly, at 2.6x, the Pro does not have that big of a lead over the 14T. And at night, the 14T Pro's main cam shoots much better video. It's sharper than the non-Pros, with a wider dynamic range and less noise. So there you have it, the Xiaomi 14T and Xiaomi 14T Pro. 
While they are similar, there are a few significant differences. The Xiaomi 14T's design has a sharper edge, and it has better thermal management. Its 2x zoomed videos are miles better, and it can even keep up at 2.6x. The user experience is very similar to that of the Pro model, and this phone is much cheaper. The difference is as much as 200 euros. But the Xiaomi 14T Pro has an aluminum frame, a more powerful chipset, longer battery life, and much faster charging along with the option for wireless charging. And its combination of cameras produces nicer zoom photos, and much better low light video. If you're looking to save some money, the Xiaomi 14T is definitely the better deal. Paying more for the Pro model only makes sense if you think it's worth it to have more power under the hood, or super fast charging and wireless charging. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.